Kitsilano Beach and Kitsilano Pool in Vancouver, British Columbia are places of warm memories. A long stretch of golden sand off English Bay with views of Burrard Inlet, Stanley Park, and Vancouver's West End. Vancouver residents and visitors have been enjoying Kitsilano Beach for over 100 years and Kitsilano Pool since 1931. It's also called Kits for short. Kits Beach was once known as Greer's Beach. Sam Greer had 160 acres of waterfront land for farming before the CPR Railway took it over. The name Kitsilano started being used when the railway advertised land for sale for housing. Since then, Kitsilano has been a popular residential area of Vancouver. There are lots of old houses and apartment blocks east and south of Kitts Beach. The waterfront land west of the beach is a bit more exclusive. Starting in 1909, the city of Vancouver acquired land for what is now Kitsilano Beach and Park. For many decades, a bathhouse building stood beside the beach. It was demolished in 2005, and now the Boathouse Restaurant is there. Fish and chips wrapped in newspaper were very popular at the old beach concessions. Kitsilano Pool is North America's longest swimming pool. It's a heated, saltwater, outdoor pool, three times as long as an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Since it's outdoors and this is Canada, it's seasonal. These days it's open from early June until early September. When the pool opened in 1931, it was even larger. It was 201 meters by 61 meters, or 660 feet by 200 feet. It was 2.3 acres large and cost about 50,000 at the time. It was filled with tide water from English Bay. Fish and sometimes octopuses or mud sharks came in. In 1936, five years after the opening, a 30 foot high diving board was installed. Swimmers could enjoy the huge pool, especially during low tide, when swimming by the beach wasn't possible. In the 1960s, the bottom was filled with cement. In 1978, the original pool was replaced with the current pool, which opened the next year. The seawall beside the pool was also built at the same time as the new pool, and it was renovated in 2018. There have been lifeguards watching out since the pool opened. Popular activities at the beach have evolved over time. Pictures from the early days show more modest bathing suits. Here is one of the early photographers with his elderly parents sitting beside Kitts Beach. With the Second World War, soldiers from the nearby armories trained on the cliffs. With peacetime came the baby boom and a more carefree attitude. Indigenous people have been living around Kitsilano and using these waters for thousands of years. Here are some indigenous canoeists who won a race in the 1960s. Summer is the most popular time at Kitsilano. It's a place to suntan, people watch, picnic, or play beach volleyball. There's also a seasonal outdoor stage called the Kitsilano Showboat that features concerts and entertainment for all. Kitsilano can be enjoyed in all seasons. There are cafes and restaurants in the area. Fall and springtime are nice for a walk or a bike ride. 
Winter snows are not too common here along the water. But in winter, you'll sometimes find snowy beaches and even occasionally enough ice by the shore for a game of pickup hockey. And then with the passing of the seasons, the cherry blossoms will bloom in Kitsilano again, heralding warmer weather and another enjoyable year at Kitsilano to come.